Hey everyone, I'm Charlie Miller and welcome to the Denver Center Theatre Company. We've got a new lobby, a new season of plays, and this is a new episode of 10 Minutes to Curtain. This episode is all about the House of the Spirits, based on the best-selling novel by Isabel Allende. The story follows four generations of women and their struggles with the patriarch of the family and the politics of the time. We workshopped the English language version of this adaptation by Caridad Svich at last year's Colorado New Play Summit, so we're excited to bring the full production to the Space Theater this fall. The process has spanned three years, two continents, two languages, and all with the same director and playwright. And I was lucky enough to catch up with them before rehearsal to hear about the journey. I started working on this about a year and a half ago uh, at Repertorio Español, and uh, it's a company that I've worked with. Uh, this is in New York City. Uh, it's the oldest, uh, one of the oldest uh, Spanish-speaking companies in the United States. And I really wanted to approach them with something uh, grand, uh, something that I could work on on a larger scale. And The House of the Spirits is something that I, is a novel that I've always loved. And then I had the, the you know, the, the luck of meeting Caridad Savich uh, during that, and I realized that her sensibility was just actually perfect for what I was trying to do with the piece. I asked her to do it, and... And here we are. Yes. Uh, and the script, uh, I had never tackled a novel before. I've done, I've written a lot of plays. So I have a history of sort of reimagining stories for the stage and sort of having a dialogue with them. It's a novel that lives in a very particular emotional place in Chilean life and, uh, and history. And I love the fact that it's a story about women and it's also about a turbulent time in political history. Even though it's an unnamed country, Chile is obviously the reference point for the, for the storytelling in, uh, in the book. We were lucky enough that we had a, a producer from Chile uh, hear about the project, come to see the project and then they wanted to actually do it in Chile, which mm -hmm. is kind of one of those dreams. That <laughs> it like, you know, it's, it's a Chilean text, it is. even though it says it's not, and to actually be able to go to the country to do it mm -hmm. has, you know, was a remarkable uh, 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 opportunity and an honor. Before coming here, I was just looking forward to working with these group of actors. Yeah. It's been remarkable. Yeah. They're some of the best actors I've had the opportunity to work with. I mean, mm -hmm. this play has been blessed. Every one of the productions has had a remarkable group, group. of people yeah. really involved. And also uh, excited about to see how, how Denver audiences connect to it and respond to it. And sort of under, uh, being in dialogue with that is really fascinating. And I think also I'm very curious to see what an audience will, what, what they'll tell us, you know, in a way every night at performance and, and how we'll we'll take that information and and move it into the next iteration of this project so excited mm -hmm. uh -huh. the house of the spirits runs in the space theater now through october 23rd that's all for this episode this season i'm going to be creating a new episode for each show so tune in at denvercenter.org 10 minutes for your exclusive behind the scenes look at the denver center theater company i'll see you in the theater